I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus. Also on the bus, joining dozens of other Conservative volunteers in the 2015 campaign, with this couple from Shropshire. Greg and Louise Kinsell were then huge fans of David Cameron and keen to see the Conservatives back in power with a majority. But for months now, since our story broke, they've been troubled by the thought that in their work touring target seats in a battle bus, they may unknowingly have been involved in breaking the law. So today, the they approach the police and the Electoral Commission. I feel like there's been a betrayal. Yeah, we... They've... We were unwitting participants in a, in a huge Absolutely. betrayal. Absolutely. That's how I feel. We've taken part in their cheating. Mm. That's not and on. And that's, that's not on. By law, money spent promoting a local candidate in any seat counts as part of that candidate's local spending, which is capped legally at about £15,000 over the six weeks or so of the campaign. The Conservatives insist that the tens of thousands they spent on the battle bus operation in 2015 was national spending, not local, spent promoting the Conservatives and David Cameron in general. But tonight, these two Tory whistleblowers, Greg and Louise Kinsell, blow that claim apart and suggest the party could have broken election law on a huge scale. Worse still, they allege the party's now engaged in a cover-up. When you hear that they're saying that we, we went down and we were just giving the central government message, no, no, we weren't. I'm not, I'm not going to lie about that. No, we weren't. This wasn't a... We were saying the Conservatives are going to do this. This is... This MP wants to do this for you. So they're telling lies about what we did. A year ago, this programme first revealed how the Conservatives deployed a fleet of battle buses in 2015 to ferry party volunteers to battleground seats, spending tens of thousands of pounds on hotels. From Cornwall to Lancashire, we named 27 elected MPs aided by a battle bus visit. MPs with small majorities whose local campaign budgets pushed close to the legal spending caps, but didn't include battle bus bills. We reported specifically on a five-day battle bus tour of seats in the West Country, which, it so happens, was the very trip that this couple joined. Six days before polling, the Kinsells joined other Tory volunteers in Taunton, where they all stayed at a travelodge. The battle bus then drove north to help the sitting MP Neil Carmichael in Stroud. Next stop, Plymouth, staying overnight at Jury's Inn to campaign for Oliver Colville in the Sutton and Devonport seat. Then the bus thrust west to support Derek Thomas in St Ives and finally Scott Mann in the North Cornwall seat and they stayed at the nearby Eden Project. Well, I think that, yes. Um, and before each stop, it's, it's they were briefed all about the candidate. We were given a, a rundown on Neil Carmichael, who was the uh, yeah. potential candidate for Stroud area. Mm. Um, so we were told about him, background, concerns of the residents in the area, what their sort of, what the general vibe was, what Stroud was going to be concerned about, sort of supermarket being built or whatever it was. I, I suppose in a way we were like the... Um, the hit squad? Yeah, the, I think that, that even that what? phrase was used. We were like the, the, the hit squad coming round, we coming to targeted areas on behalf of that MP, so on behalf of Neil Carmichael. It was a marginal seat and we were really fired up. It was a similar story all the way to North Cornwall, which the battle bus visited on the last day, after Tory HQ in London suddenly seemed to decide the candidate Scott Mann had a good chance of beating the sitting Lib Dem. But the last day, you were out the whole of the afternoon with Scott Mann. Oh, yeah. They were like a double act. They were in shops. I mean, it was hysterical to watch them. 
but he, you were going around introducing him as their candidate. Vote for him. He's handsome. He's everything going for he's him. He's the new Poldock. Yeah. Because of course, the Poldock series was on then, so Scott Mann looks a little bit like Poldock. That testimony from the Kinsells about helping Scott Mann, Neil Carmichael and other named candidates is crucial. If true, it means the money spent on Battle Bus should be divided between the candidates' own local spending returns. And it wasn't primarily a national effort, as top Tories have said ever since we first raised this issue. Lots of political parties have these uh, bus tours, you know, buses that go round different constituencies, and that is a national expense. So they're saying it's a national campaign, that it was us knocking on the doors in terms of, hello, we're from the Conservatives, we're nothing to do with a local candidate. Is that, is that what they're saying? That's utter rubbish. Because that's not true at all. We were definitely canvassing that for the MP. That is 100% untrue. That's, that's a complete travesty. I'll swear and on anything. The Kinsells are no longer oh, Conservative mm. members. They say David Cameron let them down when he resigned after the Brexit vote. What puzzles them is how many of the pictures which other Battle Bus volunteers put on social media at the time have now mysteriously been removed. The people we knew who were on the Battle Bus who are big activists, um, funny they haven't, they seem to have forgotten about us, but they've deleted their photographs, you see, which is a bit, they've forgotten about us, which was a bit of a mistake, because we were there. And the Kinsell's account is corroborated by hotel bills disclosed to us, which cover the West Country trip. We now know the Tories blocked booked the whole battle bus group for five nights in Taunton and paid up front, but then doubled up with four nights at other hotels further west. A very expensive operation. But the Kinsell's say battle bus may have changed history. We went down and worked for individual candidates mm. who then won their seat. Mm. If they hadn't won their seat, the Conservatives may not have won the election. Mm. So when you put, look at it in that perspective and realise we were part of that and we were duped into being part of that and they're saying it was part of a central government fund, that is utter, total fabrication. We worked for the local candidates and MPs to ensure that they won that seat and we were sent wherever they thought we could help and indeed we weren't the only bus there was another one as well the conservative party told us tonight simply we are cooperating with the ongoing investigations none of the four MPs we've mentioned have chosen to comment